Good morning. It's Thursday, October 20th, and today I want to talk about those two bills. The bills that deal with infrastructure. That's a broad term, because we know there's two bills. One that is dealing with physical infrastructure, the bridges and the roads and the tunnels and the buildings and the airports, etc. And the other bill is a social bill, reconciliation bill that has many up in in arms. Anyhow, Joe Biden has finally looked at this thing with a slightly different light. And he has come out and suggested discussing a $1.9 trillion top line for the economic package, the reconciliation. And he tells the Democrats that Three community colleges out. And he's probably got a lot of other things that are taken out. But that's the headline. Three community colleges out. And so that was one of his priorities, but he's cut that out. So that number is not the final number, but it's much closer to the West Virginia Democrat 1.5 trillion top than the progressive number, which is 3.5 million dollars. And another thing that Joe indicated was that the child tax credit, which is a key Democratic priority, would only be in existence for maybe one more additional year. And that's much less than many in the party wanted. And Manchin apparently wanted that too. So it looks like Manchin is in the lead in the battle over these uh, bills. And that, of course, has Bernie Sanders up and on. And Sanders had said, not nice thing about Manchin. And then, and Sanders is fighting hard for climate change. He's looking to reduce gas and coal emissions by 50%. In addition to the uh, gas house green, the green gas house reduction, Bernie's is still fighting for free college tuition, community college tuition. And he's looking for paid family leave expansion and Medicare expansion. I don't necessarily agree with all of that. You know, I went to work when I was 14, 15 years old, and I always worked from that time on until I retired. And I never got an allowance because we didn't have enough money to give allowance, so we had to work. So I don't think working working your way through college is a terrible thing. I don't think that's bad. I'm not necessarily in favor of free community college. I think the cost of college is outrageous, but I think you have to have some skin in the game. If you give people everything for nothing, I don't think they learn that much. They don't, they don't have the same view of the value of what they're doing. So I mean, reducing the college tuition would be a wonderful thing. Free is not necessarily the most important factor. And of course, uh, what Manchin has said, and I think I agree with him on a lot of this, that he doesn't want the United States to become an entitlement society. And I think that's a good idea. I think everybody should have some skin in the game. I've said that many times. I'm against I'm against total welfare. I'm against people that play the system and we make it easy to play the system. I think the paid family leave expansion is not necessary. Twelve weeks off is plenty. And if you need more time than that, then that should be on your own dime. And that's strictly a corporate thing. There's nothing in the rules that say corporations can't give you six months off if they want, if they choose to do that. They're not messing with the Medicare expansion, which under this plan will include hearing, dental, and vision. That's something that the progressives want. So the way this thing is laying out, Joe is trying to give Manchin something, and he's trying to keep as much as he can for the 
addresses. Home care for the elderly and the disabled is also going to be reduced from $400 billion down to $250 billion. Now, if you look at this number, you looked at the $3.5 trillion, and now you're cutting it down to $1.9. That's a 50% reduction. So everything in this bill is going to be reduced. Some things are removed totally, but everything is going to have to be reduced by some number. And maybe the real reason that this whole thing is in a big uproar is they got this 10-year window to do the whole thing. And maybe if they had a smaller package with a smaller window and many segments attached to this bill, it would be easier to deal with. You know, this is like a recipe. You got too much in the recipe, it goes bad. You have too many things in the bill, it becomes difficult for people to come together and agree on anything. As I've said before, these things should be separated out and managed as independent projects, you know, because then you could have a boss over each segment of these bills, and then you would have a person responsible for getting the work done. If you lump all these things together, it'll be much more difficult to control and decide when to spend that money and how. I would could imagine that if you had a big bill like this, and then you ran into trouble in some area and you needed money, you would take it out of some other pot. You would screw up the whole cooking, the whole recipe. So I don't know where this is going to end, but I know that right now Manchin and Sanders are, while they claim to be friends, their ideological differences tell me another story. And uh, the battle will continue to go on for a while. Although there is supposed to be a vote on October 31st to settle this whole thing. So there's plenty of time left for negotiations. And hopefully they'll get this thing straightened out. And we'll have a reasonable set of bills that can be accomplished. You know, I don't believe that the rich should pay for everything. I do believe that they get away with murder because of all the exemptions that they can take advantage of. So if they looked as part of these bills to do a restructuring of the tax code to help pay for this, then maybe the $3.5 trillion could fly. But as long as they're going to leave the tax structure the way it is, they're never going to be able to get the money that they need. And let's face it, we are uh, we are in debt. We have a huge debt that we have to pay back to. And while all of these uh, all of the people that are involved in this uh, bill haven't considered that at all, I haven't heard anything about it in this bill as to how it's really going to control the debt ceiling. I heard Janet yell and say, this is not going to cost us anything. It's not going to increase our debt. I don't believe that for one minute. So there are a lot of things still left to go, and we'll have to keep an eye on it. I'll leave you with that this morning, and I'll see you tomorrow.